What is going on all you tiny people? Draco Invictus here with another Grounded video and today we are building an elevator in Grounded. Let's get to it. Hit that intro. All right, guys, so yes, we are in Grounded. Yes, we are building an elevator. No, this is not my original idea. I just want to say that straight up front. I saw it from uh, Golden Games and Things. He does have a YouTube channel. He has all of 13 views on this video that he made. Mine is slightly different. It's slightly less resource intensive. And I wanted to show my version to you guys. And I'm also going to link to his channel down in the description below because you know what? He gave me a fantastic idea, and I definitely want to share the love with that. So if you feel like also sharing the love, swing by his channel, check out his video, give him some love. But let's get to it. So here I am standing at the top of my tower. Let's drop on down here. I will first show you guys how it works, and then I'll, we'll build a couple layers up on this other pad over here so that you guys can also see how it's built. So... Basically, you just walk forward and just let go until you get to the top. And then you push forward and you land on your little pad. Whatever you wanted to do up at the top. So, that's how it works. Yes, I'm in creative mode just because it was easier to build in this. But I did take efficiency and resource management into mind. Which is why I went with the, the angled scaffold piece. Because it only requires two weed stems. If you watch uh, Golden Games and things, uh, he's got a bunch of uh, like wall pieces and all that stuff. You don't need any of those extra wall pieces. He had a bunch of grass planks that would be, frankly, this would be very, very resource consuming uh, to build in survival mode. So I had that in, in mind. So let's go ahead and jump on over here. We're going to open up our build menu, grab our, our triangle angled wall piece and we're going to flip that around so that we're staring at a flat side and then we have another flat side and the angled pieces on the back which we're not going to worry about the only reason i have the uh the clay floors down is just for an even surface you could do it with grass floors whatever you wanted to do so now uh we actually want to build this up three levels okay and we are going to grab now our little springboard here and you can see it's kind of snapping in place but what we want is we want where this long flat piece is right up facing us. And you can use, I'm using control on the PC uh, to get it to go into snap mode. So let me get rid of that. So if I turn it off snap mode, you see it gets all kinds of crazy and all that stuff. And then you'd have to kind of make sure that you got it just right. But turn snap mode on. And there we go. Okay, so there's our first piece. Now what we want to do is we want to grab a triangle floor piece with the long angle facing us. Okay. Now we're just going to ride this up to that pad. Okay, now that we're up here, we want to build up three more levels. I know, this is not rocket science here. Oh, there we go and get rid of that. And if you can get a fourth, that's cool too. There we go. But remember, you only want the floor up three levels. And remember to have the long angle facing toward the front of your elevator. So now we need to put our, our little bounce pad there. So we're just going to walk over onto the scaffold. And you can walk that. I mean, I'm not jumping or anything like that. If you do it pretty quickly, you won't fall down. So now we'll grab our pad and you can see I don't have the snap turned on. So I turn on the snap, but if notice, there it goes. All right, so now it's in place. So now we can actually hit that and then land up here and we'll build a little bit higher. And get up, there we go. Grab our triangle floor piece. There we go. Come back over here. Set our little bouncy web. Okay. 
All right, so now I'm just gonna build, for your final level, you can go three. Okay, so if I spin this around, right? We could put our floor there and you would make it, but you'd have to do two hops on the last bounce pad, the bounce pad here, because the first hop where it shoots you up isn't strong enough to actually get you up to the third floor. You'd have to do it twice. So I am just going to set this right here, two levels up, okay? And then, you know, you'd have your floor that goes off that way or what, whichever way you wanted to go. So now we just need to put our last little bounce pad here, our little springy spidery bounce web, and it automatically snapped right into place with the angle correct. So now, we can easily land on this pad. So let's jump back down to the bottom. All right, so here's our new elevator and I'm just gonna walk forward and up we go. And you wouldn't need this actual one here, but you could put a third one there. So as you can see, I just went up three there. Boom. There we go. So we barely land on that third one. So that is how you build the elevator. So you could go as pretty much as high as you want, as high as you wanted to build anyway. So you guys let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think of the elevator? What do you think of my rendition of the elevator? Um, you know, it, it doesn't have all the enclosed walls and all that stuff, but I did, um, I didn't want to do any phantom building uh, with just not building the scaffolding. You could certainly do that. But um, at two weed stem a piece, this should be pretty easy to build it. And realistically, you're not going to be building it too ridiculously high unless you were literally trying to build at the very, very top of the oak tree and you were going from the ground to do it. But that is my version of the elevator in Grounded. So if you guys have any questions, comments, kicks, or complaints, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. As always, thank you uh, for tuning in. And until next time, you take care of yourselves. This is Drake Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya.